As if Heart of Darkness wasn't confusing enough already, there aren't even chapters in this book. There are just three sections. The good news is those three sections make for three fairly tidy portions of plot. Let's take a look. Section one is Marlowe's first encounter with imperialism. He describes his trip to the central station in Africa, where he's supposed to begin piloting his own ship. On his way to the central station, Marlowe encounters countless examples of the brutality and inefficiency that characterize his company's imperialist operations, including their inability to get him the parts to fix his broken down steamship. Section two is Marlowe's journey upriver. Marlowe finally gets the parts he needs and heads deeper into Africa in search of the mysterious Kurtz. The journey upriver is terrifying, but this terror is nothing like what meets Marlowe at Kurtz's interstation. Kurtz has established himself as some kind of god with the natives, all the while exploiting their land for massive amounts of ivory. Section three is Marlowe's encounter with Kurtz and its aftermath. Marlowe witnesses Kurtz's corruption, madness, and egomania. Marlowe gets Kurtz on board his steamship, but Kurtz's health is failing. He rants and raves to Marlowe about the horror and then dies. The book ends as Marlowe searches for some understanding of Kurtz and his words.